back to the plugin tutorial video. Today we are checking out a plugin called Action Bar Health. Before we start this video, if you want a plugin tutorial on your plugin, make sure to leave the link and the comment on why you want it down in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe and like the video. If you do all this and you let me know down in the comments, I'll create one for you. Or if you want, if you're a user wanting a tutorial on how to set up the plugin or anything, do the exact same thing. Just leave it down in the comments. I'll be happy to create a tutorial for you. It takes about a, I pre-record videos by a week, so it wouldn't come out for about a week, but you will get your video. So make sure to go leave a comment down in the comment section below. So today we're checking out Action Bar Health. It is a plugin that's been around since 2014, has an over 128,000 downloads, which is absolutely insane. There's a few commands, there's Action Health Reload, Action Health Toggle, and the only permissions Action Health. If the use permission is enabled in the config, it uses Java 8. It has World Guard, World Region, all that um, support for it. It has placeholder API, uh, supports mythic mobs, language utilities, has a configure file, which I'll show you in a minute. You got all these different types of um, formats here. Got custom styles, which you can configure and everything. So, very nice. Why don't we take a little look at the configure file now before we get into the plugin itself? Inside the configure file, you have an option to change the health message, the non player message, which is um, all non player entities. So, you know, it's just use the default one. You don't need to mess with that. Toggle messages, so if they disable it, that's the message that's sent. The enable, disable, strip the name, use permission, show mobs, kill players, kill NPCs, delay ticks, delay ticks, there we go. Full health icon, so this is where you configure the style of what you hit with. You got the disabled worlds, disabled regions for world guard, uh, region PvP, limit health, remember toggle, um, any blacklist entity names, so if you have a plugin that creates entities with names, you can put them there. If you can see them, if they're invisible, spectator mode, show little miniature pet health, name change, snow golem equals new name. So quite easy to do, quite easy to use. And we're going to switch over to in-game cam here. And when we are in-game, all you have to do is go over to a mob and hit it. Right above your action, right above your inventory here, pops up the health bar. I'm using the default config. Um, this works with any mob. So if I go ahead and kill any of these mobs, it's going to pop up the same. So you can see it just changes the mob name, but the type of thing is the same villagers same thing so pretty much it gives a little bit of a mod feel to it where you can see the mobs health while you're killing it so you can see I'm killing it and the health is going down and it shows you how far away they are to death and the more health they have the brighter the thing and then the hit it to die just like that it's pretty simple lightweight drag and drop plugin I highly recommend it if you have a server where you want to um, pretty much like do some type of survival and if you look at a mob like if you look away it's gonna fade out but if you look at a mob when you're close it will pop up so pretty simple to use fully configurable very nice I'm gonna kill my own I'm gonna leave the squid alone I hit it once but I'm a squid in game so I'm gonna avoid killing my own kind again thank you all so much for watching today's video it's a quick tutorial I'm not gonna go through all the settings or anything but I did want to just highlight a little bit about the plugin and what it does and the basic features of it. If you have suggestions for future videos by me, make sure to leave a comment down below. I would be happy to create it. We cannot give support for this plugin. Uh, we did not make it. If you need support, go contact that plugin, Arthur. But if you want support with any of our 40 plus five star plugins, leave a comment below or contact us on Discord for the fastest support uh, you can imagine. So we also have a full wiki page, a mobile app, and everything else to help you out with your plugins. So if you have any questions with them, please let us know. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you leave your suggestions for future plugin videos in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noodles. I'll see you tomorrow.